Top 10 Rare Animals You've Never Heard Of With the universe having approximately 8 million animals, it is almost impossible knowing half of all these animals. From domestic animals to wild animals, there are many other animals being discovered monthly. Nevertheless, there are outstanding animals which have already been discovered, scientifically ranked and named but are not known to many humans. Stay put as we discover 10 of these amazing animals in today's educative video. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification button so you will be notified when we upload new videos. Without any further delay, these are the top 10 rare animals you've probably never heard of. Number 10. Emperor Tamarins Having a graceful white moustache likened to that of the German Emperor William II, Emperor Tamarins are small tree-dwelling monkeys that live in extended family groups. These animals are natives of the southwestern Amazon basin with a range that crosses Peru, Brazil, Bolivia, where they can be found living in wooded habitats like lowland, mountain and seasonal forest. Having a weight of about 460 grams, they are omnivorous, feeding primarily on fruits, insects, gum nectar and leaves. Sadly, their small sizes have made them vulnerable to numerous predators like wild cats, dogs, snakes and birds. Having a wider range of color or visual than male emperor tamarinds, the female tamarind is outstanding because of this adaptation that helps it find fruits easier than others. If you're looking for a pet, you can get the Emperor Tamarin as one because they are durable monkeys that are playful and affectionate in nature, and they don't seem to mind captivity at all. If taken care of, Emperor Tamarins can be very joyful pets. Number 9. Raccoon Dog Despite the name, the raccoon dog is a close relative to the true foxes and not to be raccoon family as many think. It is part of the large candidate family, a member of the domestic dog family. The raccoon dog was named as such due to the resemblance of its marked face call structure to that of the common raccoon by name Prokinoid. Raccoon dogs, also known as Mangut or Tinaki, are actually a native to the forests of eastern Siberia, northern China, north Vietnam, Korea, and now widely spread out in some of European countries. Having an omnivorous nutritional system, raccoon dogs have small and weak canines, flat molars which helps them to masticate and devour prey. They also have long intestines which are actually 1.5 to 2 times bigger and longer than that of the other canids and helps them in digestion. With a weight of about 3 to 10 cages, these feral animals have a lifespan of 6 to 11 years. An interesting fact about raccoon dogs is their winter fur which is long and thick with dense under fur containing coarse gold hairs, protecting them from low temperatures. Well, they have not been the only ones benefiting from this, as humans across some countries like China and Russia hunt the raccoon dog for its fur in order to produce fashionable clothing. Number 8. Pinocchio Frog Also known as Northern Pinocchio Tree Frog, this picture of frog is part of the Pelodiaidae family and was discovered in Fujia Mountains of Papua Province in Indonesia by Conservation International and National Geographic in the year 2008. The male Pinocchio frog has a repeatable behavior in inflating its nose when calling and decreasing its nose size when it is calm and quiet, which is quite amazing. It feeds mostly on insects and has a 2.5 mm long fleshy spike jutting out from its face that helps with capturing prey and sensory. The Pinocchio frog, having colors like green, brown, and yellow, actually weighs an ounce and is about 1 inch long, though the male Pinocchio frog is smaller than the female. The Pinocchio frog uses its color as a camouflage ability giving it a good defense strategy against its predators. Number 7. Pink Fairy Amadillo The domestic cats and dogs have a rare prey in common, which is the Pink Fairy Amadillo. The Pink Fairy Amadillo, also known as the Pichiego, is actually the smallest species of Amadillo first described by Richard Hallan in 1825. It being a desert adapted animal, it is rarely found in central Argentina, where it can be found inhabiting sandy plains, dunes, grasslands and scoby grasslands. Like other armadillos, the pink fairy armadillo has a shell or carapace which is actually softer, thinner and more flexible than that of others. The shell's pink colors come from the blood vessels at the surface of its body. The Pichisiego has a size of about 9 to 12 centimeters and interestingly has been nicknamed the sand swimmer. Why? Because it is said that it can burrow through the ground as fast as a fish can swim in the sea. Sadly, it cannot work on hard surface because the claws it possesses a large relative to its body, therefore hindering its movement on hard surface. Number 6. Snub-nosed monkey Snub-nosed monkeys live in Asia, covering a wide range of southern China. 
as their name have it, these monkeys are named as such because of the short stomped nose on their round faces, with nostrils arranged forward. These monkeys make up the entirety of the genus Rhinophithecus. A male sub nosed monkey weighs about 19.9 kg, with his female weighing about 12.2 kg, with a size ranging from 58 to 63 cm. Although the source of their facial feature is unknown, these monkeys are adapted to a high altitude, living by changing their behavior. Although they are primarily herbivores, they can capture small mammals like birds to get meat for energy. A fun fact about them is their sociality ability, which makes them able to form large troops about 600 individuals in summer. Number 5. Adwolf The adwolf is an insectivorous animal with a weight of about 3 kg and about 70 cm in length and is a native of the East and South Africa. Its name means earth wolf and it is also referred to as the Manha Jokau termite eating hyena, which is one of the reasons why it is often mistaken to the striped hyena. Based on its habit of secreting substances from its anal gland, a characteristic shared with the African civet makes it able to scare predators from it. The ad wolf is in the same family as the hyena and unlike many of its relatives in the other carnivora, the ad wolf does not hunt large animals. It rather eats insects and their larvae, especially termites. Ad wolves can be considered as termite pollutants, as one ad wolf alone can lap up as many as 250,000 termites during a single night using its tongue, sticky tongue. The ad wolf is a shy animal, but you would not definitely consider it as a domestic pet. Number 4. Sunda Kolugo. Kolungos can glide from treetop to treetop by extending special skin membranes to form a flat parachute like body. They aren't monkeys and they don't really fly. Then what are they? The Sunda Flying Lemur or Sunda Kolugo, also known as the Malayan Flying Lemur or Malayan Kolugo, is a species of Kolugo. Until recently, it was thought to be one of the two species of flying lemurs, the other being the Philippine Flying Lemur. Unlike most gliding mammals, the Kolugo also has webbed fingers and toes, attached its protagium to increase the surface area and help them produce more lift and in turn stay in the air for longer periods of time. The Sunda Kolugo lives only in Indochina and Sunderland and all included in the Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Sumatra and Java, as well as many small islands. It has a length of about 33 to 42 centimeters and a mass of 0.9 to 1.6 kg and feeds on leaves. Number 3. Chinese Water Deer The Chinese Water Deer has a ginger brown color and lacks the white warm seen in other species of its kind. Its weight of about 12 to 18.5 kg and length of about 82 to 106 cm makes it larger than a munch jack but slightly smaller than a roe deer. Its large fluffy ears and small black nose give it a teddy bear like appearance. It fits mostly around dawn and dusk and within this period it fits on herbs, grass and weeds. Musk and water deer, commonly lumped together as fanged or vampire, have long sharp canine kind of teeth that even jot out past the lower jaw, like antlers in other deers. The water deer fangs are mostly used as weapons by competing males vying for territories and access to breeding females, poaching for its meat and for the semi-digested milk found in the rumen of its unwaned forms has made it go into extinction, also considering the fact that it is vulnerable with a lifespan of 8 to 12 years. Number 2. Lee Poker If you've ever watched the movie Pokemon, then you've seen the Lee Poker, though you did not probably know what it was. Standing 40 cm tall, Pikachu was the first electric type of Pokemon created. The Pika-like creatures have short yellow fur with brown markings covering their backs and parts of the lightning bolt shaped tails. Despite their small size, body shape and round ears, Pikas are not rodents but the smallest representatives of the Lagamoles a group represented only by the hares and rabbits. With a length of 20 cm and mass of about 240 grams, the Ilipoka is a herbivore found in the northwest part of China. For lovers of Pokemon, it is important to know that pokers do not make good pets because if they get too hot, they can die, so you must regulate their temperatures at all times. They are also wild animals and while they can tame young creatures with time and patience, as they reach sexual maturity, they become less compatible with household life. Number 1. Lowland Streaked Tenrek Just the shape and color of the tenrek catches the eye. The Lowland Streaked Tenrek is a small tenrek found in Madagascar, capable of inflicting serious damage within its dangerous bite. The Lowland Streaked Tenrek is distinguished by two main features, which is its two long, black-colored rows. 
that is longer than that of the other sized insectivores, including hedgehogs, mice, shrewd sand, and also its black colored coat displaying yellow stripes and bright yellow spine is its second outstanding feature. It has a weight of 120 to 280 grams and a lifespan of 2.7 to 3 years in captivity in the wild. Madagascar tenrex are opportunistic feeders which will forage on the ground and in trees for invertebrates. They will also eat some other small animals such as baby mice. Yes, they do bite, you heard well. An interesting reason to why they do so at times is because lowland strict males may fight over females, so in order to defend themselves or attack, they bite or headbutt. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.